This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. It's the new year. Yes. And it means a whole plethora of new movies in 2016. Yeah. So I thought we'd just talk about those. Okay. Coming up. These, this isn't everything. Nowhere near everything. Because there's a lot of movies that come out. <laughs> These are the ones that seem to be bigger movies for one reason or another. Yeah. We're starting out with one we saw a preview for when we went to Star Wars. Yeah. In January, we begin with The Fifth Wave. Eh. Yet another young adult title snapped up. Mm -hmm. Alien attacks and a girl who saves everyone. Yeah. I read the book. Yeah. I didn't think much of the book. <laughs> um, it You know, it's no Hunger Games. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's trying to be, of course. Yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz stars. We have Jane Got a Gun, a female-driven Western with Natalie Portman in the lead role. Have we seen Natalie in anything lately? Not lately. And then we have The Finest Hours, a disaster drama on the high seas based on a 1952 true story. I think I saw a preview for that at, um, oh... Some movie we went to with your mom, I think. I think it, like, like, like last summer I saw yeah. previews for mm -hmm. this. Yeah, lots of waves and storms, yeah. yeah. And in February, Hail Caesar, a Coen Brothers film, 50s Hollywood comedy mystery, George Clooney, Josh Brolin, Scarlett Johansson. Hmm. Yeah. That seems like it could be good. Mm hmm I've liked some of the other Coen Brothers mm -hmm. movies. Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with a Mouth goes live action with Ryan Reynolds and Marina Bacharin. Expect lots of violence. <laughs> See if he does any better with this than he did with uh, Green Lantern. But this was the one he re he hugely lobbied for. He made his own homemade yeah. Deadpool outfit and did like a fan film. <laughs> he really wanted this. to. to uh, Are you going to go see it? I may go see it. Okay. Triple Nine... A crime heist with corrupt cops. Casey Affleck, Aaron Paul, Kate Winslet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Gods of Egypt. And it's back to the fantasy well. And the trailer that we saw looks like two hours of CGI explosions. And there is some <laughs> um, controversy on this one because they cast all these white actors right. instead of... You know, Egyptians. Yeah, people who would <laughs> even look like maybe ancient Egyptians. Yeah, yeah. So. Moving to March, we have Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, a comedic film about war correspondence in Afghanistan. WTF. Yeah. With Tina Fey, Margot Robbie, and Martin Freeman. Mm -hmm. And I think this is Tina Fey trying to branch out more. Yeah. Certainly from the that Travis sisters, sisters she just did. Yeah. Zootopia, Disney's latest animated movie. The voices of Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman, Shakira, and J.K. Simmons. This just looks weird. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like, what can we do for maximum marketing effort, you know, to make action yeah. figures and plush toys and, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then in March, we also have Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Who can forget that Supreme Court case? <laughs> the whole gang's here. Uh, let's see if Warner and Zack Snyder can avoid screwing it up. So why is it coming out in March? Why indeed? <laughs> yeah, you're Okay, Warner Brothers, you're not Marvel. Marvel can get away with a March opening. <laughs> you can't get away with a March Everybody's opening. Everybody's going to see, oh, it's opening in March because they don't expect it to be a summer blockbuster. Yep. Yep. Now, really, you don't expect Deadpool to be a blockbuster, but Marvel has a lot of those movies that aren't the big summer temple movies. Right. This one should be a big Summer Temple movie. Well, this was supposed to come out in 2015. Originally, it was scheduled. Uh, it was scheduled for Christmas. And then they went, eh, maybe not with the Star Wars thing. <laughs> so they pushed it back. And by the way, Gal Gadot, who's playing Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, is in no less than three other movies in 2016, including, in April, Criminal. We have another action thriller with a dead CIA's agent's memories dropped into a new body. <laughs> Kevin Costner, <laughs> Gary Oldman, 
and Tommy Lee Jones also star. These are like all old people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It's that Expendables deal. The Jungle Book. One of two live action CGI remakes with John Favreau directing. And we have Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, Idris Elba, Lupita Nyong'o, and Scar Scarlett Johansson. All in that. But it's live action and CGI. So I think, I believe, Bill Murray is, pay is playing a CGI Baloo. Yeah, I, I would, I would guess a lot of those people that you mentioned are going to be CGI jungle creatures. With, yeah. Just doing the voices more than mm -hmm. anything. We also have Mother's Day, a Gary Marshall ensemble comedy with Jennifer Aniston, Julia Roberts, and Kate Hudson, and a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. There's like 20 people in this. This is kind of, you know... Love actually, actually for Mother's Day. Right, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to May, Captain America Civil War, a.k.a. Avengers 2.5, mm -hmm. because the whole Avengers gang is back again. It's supposedly Chris Evans' vehicle. <laughs> well, even the trailers seem to focus on Chris Evans. It does, so. but, but everybody's in it, and yeah. more everybody's, and everybody's that are going to have their own movies later, and mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really a springboard to the next set of movies. And in May. In May. See? Yeah. Tentpole movie. Tentpole movie. That's why they didn't want to put the uh, DC movie out then, because, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, they knew they couldn't compete against Civil War. Right. Money Monster, a political thriller directed by Jodie Foster with George Clooney and Julia Roberts, so at least it will look pretty. Snowden, Oliver Stone's version of Edward Snowden's story. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Shalene Woodley. I don't and, know. Uh, Is it a little soon for a... It seems a little soon. I guess, though, if you do, you know, Somebody, two or three Jobs movies, you know. You yeah, can... somebody's going to do it, so yeah. Oliver Soad said I might as well get out there and do it. Alice Through the Looking Glass, yet another retelling, this mm -hmm. time live action. Well, this is like the second part, isn't it? Um, the first, Well, maybe not. We have Mia Wasakawa. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure I screwed that up. Anne Hathaway, Johnny Depp. Uh oh, Helena, Helena Bonham Carter, double uh oh. Where's Tim Burton? Oh, he's producing, not directing. Triple mm -hmm. uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> X Men Apocalypse. This is the ninth installment in the X Men series, mm -hmm. and apparently the last one where you're going to see the these big stars that are moving on to other stuff. James McAvoy, Michael Fassbinder, and Jennifer Lawrence. Mm -hmm. In June. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle! Out of the Shadows, again! Why? Yeah. Why, 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 why? Warcraft, yet another attempt to turn a video game into a movie franchise. <laughs> and the lack of stars in it is disturbing. Yes. I never heard of anybody in this movie. That's not good. Finding Dory. This is Pixar's sequel to Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. Ellen DeGeneres and Albert Brooks are back. They will make a ton of money for Disney, yes. like they need it. Yeah, but people have been begging, <laughs> begging for this, for this movie. movie. Yeah. Independence Day Resurgence. We have Jeff Goldblum and Bill Pullman coming back, but not seeing uh, Will Smith on the IMDb there. Yeah. <laughs> it's another one I'm not quite sure they need. No. But... And speaking of another one they don't need, and starting in July, The Legend of Tarzan. Back to this trope. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alexander Skarsgård, Samuel Jackson, Margot Robbie, and Christoph Waltz as the bad guy. Of course. Of course. Ghostbusters. The we, female version. Who are you going to call? Apparently four women. Yeah. Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, with cameos from the original surviving cast. I can't help but think it's just going to be a horrible horrible mess of scatological humor. I'm guessing, because Hollywood says, women can be funny as long as they're disgusting. Yeah. Star Trek Beyond! Yay! Third time's a charm for the rebooted franchise. The trailer shows the use of motocross bikes in a 23rd century alien story. This does not inspire confidence, and having a Fast and Furious guy as a director is more worrisome indeed. Yeah, but it's a Star <laughs> Trek movie. Yeah. And... <laughs> And this is what it's officially called, Untitled Fifth Born Film. <laughs> so you know it's good. A movie they haven't come up with a title for, and it's coming out in July. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
I was thinking about that. Maybe there's some <laughs> sort of conflicts over, you know, them wanting to name it after one of the novels or something. <laughs> I don't know. The Born Laundry List. Yeah. August, we have Suicide Squad. DC Warner trying to finally do something different with superheroes. Mm -hmm. A team of supervillains unwillingly brought together. Mm -hmm. Jared Leto, Margot Robbie, and Will Smith. This is where Will Smith was when he wasn't doing since he wasn't doing Independence, Independence Day. Independence Day. Ben Hur, the historic epic is wheeled out again with Jack Houston and Morgan Freeman. Mm -hmm. Jack Houston is apparently a distant relative of the Houston family. And that's what he's known for, I guess. <laughs> Pete's Dragon, yet another live-action Disney remake. Robert Redford and Bryce Dallas Howard are the only stars in it. It's buried in the August dead zone. Not the best sign. Yeah, well, I don't think Pete's Dragon was that big of a movie no, to begin with. No, so. That was near the end of the run of the original mm -hmm. Disney. In September, Sully. Clint Eastwood directs the story of the heroic airline pilot with Tom Hanks in the lead. Well, that'll be a blockbuster. And will also be Oscar bait. Yeah. Bridget Jones' Baby, the third film in the franchise. And you know, third films in a franchise are always the best. Renee Zellweger and Colin Firth return. And just as an FYI, that was last week's Entertainment Weekly. Oh, okay. We missed that on ah, the other show. The other show. The Magnificent Seven. Remake. You hear a lot of word remake here. Of the 1960 classic, and of course, which was a remake of 1954's Seven Samurai. Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Matt Bomer are five of the seven. Yeah, well, you know, some of those <laughs> names I really like, you know. Yeah. I yeah. probably won't see it. Yeah. In October, Gambit, the X-Man, gets his own film with Channing Tatum in the role. But it's apparently not even in production yet. Well, then how is it coming out in October? <laughs> I don't think it is. I think that's going to be pushed to next year. Yeah. Inferno. Ron Howard's Da Vinci Code franchise continues. Tom Hanks in the lead, along with Felicity Jones. Jack Reacher. Never go back. Tom Cruise apparently didn't take his movie title's advice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of never say never again. I just picture Tom Cruise as Jack Reacher based <laughs> on the novels, which I read several of. So right. I don't know. In November... Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch takes on Marvel's Sorcerer Supreme. Chidowell Edifor and Rachel McAdams are along for the ride. Looking forward to that one. Yep. Love my Benedict. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. J.K. Rowling's Laundry List becomes a film with Eddie Redmayne and Colin Farrell cashing in. I will be going to see that one, I'm pretty sure, with a big group of fellow uh, Harry Potterites. In December... Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, the first of the anthology movies that are going to be put out between the major new space epics. The story of how the Death Star plans were purloined prior to Chapter 4. Felicity Jones, Forrest Whitaker, Alan Tudyk. Hmm. Yeah. So they have said it's prior to Chapter 4. Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay. Because it's, they said this is what the story is. It's when they say, oh, many people died to get you the Death Star plans. This is the story of the people dying, okay. apparently. Assassin's Creed, another video game to movie attempt. Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard. Cotillard. Cotillard, I knew I had that wrong. And Jeremy Irons. Passengers, a sci-fi drama with Jennifer Lawrence, Chris Pratt, Michael Sheen, and Lawrence Fishburne, with director Morton Tildum, who directed Imitation Game, could this be sci-fi Oscar bait? Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like there's a lot of movies you could see next year in the movie theater. Yes. Or you could do like us and just wait until they come out on DVD or streaming. <laughs> right. Because we don't like to go to the movie theater with little kids and right. noisy people. You with got, it's got to be a big movie for us to go to the movies. <laughs> so while you're not watching movies, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Let's all go to the to get our